so the other day, this is, today is Thursday for economics, but um, the other day we looked at we, how much, actually it was your last Monday's class, we looked at how much money the Federal Reserve um, supply said there was. So today we're going to look at three ways that they can change that. One is changing a discount rate, changing um, that and changing the reserve requirement and using open market operation. So they can change the um, discounts. So they can change it from a 10% requiring banks to pay 10% to 5% which allows the banks to lend out more loans. Um, they can do the reserve requirement um, that goes along with that. Um, and they do the discount rates to keep people from panicking. Um, so right now, this would be one of those times where people would panic. Actually, I always think of um, when we've talked about the run to the markets, the panics, I think of, I sent you guys a video of it. Um, I always think of in It's a Wonderful Life, everybody running to, the, to his um, loan company. Um, and you see all those um, movies and things that would depict the Great Depression where people were running to the banks to like, get their money out. And that's probably how people are feeling right now. I know my grandparents took their money out of the stock market and stuff, so, and out of banks and that kind of thing. So that's a real thing right now. And they can also use open market operations where they can actually buy um, different bonds in the, on the open market. And we talked about the open market's different than the stock market. The stock market, you can actually drive to where the stock exchange is. You can go in, you can see it, people work on the floor of it, yada, yada, yada. The open market's more of this, like the global market. And um, you can buy, but you don't like go somewhere to buy. It's kind of this, um, it's a private broker, a private broker instead of like a, um, like a classical when you think of going to buy a stock on the stock market exchange floor. So I sent you guys something fun to do today to where you guys can actually look at the Federal Reserve Bank in Atlanta and the Federal Reserve Bank in Philadelphia and um, I sent you guys the video of the gold vault in the Federal Reserve Bank in New York which I thought was super cool. So it just shows you that they understand how much the paper money really does have weight from the gold and the, and the actual money value that it has. So that is all I have for you guys today, and I'll see you next week.